Hi, it's Oscar. Welcome to another How with ServiceNow. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to set up Service Graph Connector for Microsoft Intune. Let's log in to portalazure.com. Then you are in the home page and click Azure Active Directory. Here we're going to click on Add App Registration and we give a name for this app. So for this example, we're going to call it ServiceNow Intune API Sandbox. We keep selected the accounts, the accounts in this organizational directory only, single tenant. Then redirect your eye. We select web and we put our URL for our instance with oauth underscore redirect dot do. And then we click register. Once the application is created, it's going to present the overview of this application. Here you can identify the application client ID and the directory tenant ID. These two values are going to be required for our integration. Now we're going to click on API permissions. We click on add permission. In this pop-up window, we're going to select Microsoft Grab and then application permissions. Then we're going to type the first permission we need. We expand and click on the checkbox. Now let's enter the second. We expand, we click on the checkbox, and let's enter the third one. We expand, check, and then we add permissions. Finally, we need to grant admin consent. So we click on this button, get a confirmation, yes, and now the permissions has been granted to the application. The next tab is to click on Certificates and Secrets, and we need to add a new client secret. We we'll click here. We enter a description. We can type for now test, and then we select an expired date. So we're going to have it for 12 months, and we click Add. One thing to make sure is to copy this value and this secret ID. The secret ID, you can always come back and copy, but the value, as it states in, in this um, title here, uh, it cannot be viewed except for immediately after creation. So you want to make sure you copy this value and the secret ID and keep it safe. All right, we got everything we need from Azure. So now we have to go into our ServiceNow instance. In the instance, now you can go to and type on the left navigator Intune and you will see the Service Graph Connector Microsoft Intune application. Click on Setup and it will show you and display this uh, homepage. So to get started, click Continue. Then the first thing we need to address is to configure the connection and configure credentials. So we click configure credentials. Then we click on configure. I already set up this one, but I want to show you exactly what needs to be done here in the configuration for this um, auth provider. So this is the form for the auth provider. Here you can give it any name you want. Then you have to copy the client ID, put the client secret. Then make sure you have the URLs matching. And here is what you are going to use your tenant ID as well in these URLs. And of course, we have our redirect URL. So you have your instance name, the tenant ID. And that's what you get, and that's how you configure these URLs. Nothing else to do, as you can see below, the auth entry profiles is the default profile, out of the box by ServiceNow, and the auth uh, entity scopes as well, we have the default that ServiceNow provides as well. 
once you have entered the information you can click on save or update and you can mark this uh, step as complete one thing i want to show you as well is uh, in the connection and credential aliases application or module you would find the intune connection alias so if you open this one you will see there is already a connection. If you open the connection, this is all default by service now. If you open the Intune connection, you will see that everything is already in place. And in the credential, it is actually going to use the OAuth entity profile that we just updated with the client ID and um, entity id so this is the actual one that is going to get a token in order to access um, intune coming back to the configuration uh, we do not require to stood up a mid server so we can mark this one as complete and also uh, now we can try our and test our connection so we go to configure is going to present uh, the data source this is uh, the patent data source that is going to run in order to get all the information from intune as the step describes uh, we have to click on test load for 20 records that will give us confirmation whether or not we have an active connection to microsoft intune as you can see, it has been completed and the completion code is success. So we're successfully connecting to Microsoft Intune. So we can go back now to the guided setup. And now uh, one of the, we can mark this uh, as well, this step as complete. And the last step we want to do is to set up the schedule import. So we're going to click here and then we're going to go on the uh, setup schedule imports. We're gonna uh, because I already completed it, so I'm gonna click on edit and I'm gonna go to configure. So, here what we are going to see is the scheduled data import. As you can see, this is the master scheduled data import followed by other two scheduled imports another one for computer and software. Both of them are active, and then we all need to do here for Intune devices is to make sure this this is active and and the box is checked and then we just click update or saved and then we are done as we can see we can also modify when do we want to run it so by default service now puts uh, daily at midnight zero hours so this is going to run every night on a daily basis it's going to get all the devices is going to get the computers and is going to get the software so this is all the configuration you have to do for the service graph connector for microsoft intune hope you have enjoyed this quick guide thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe